Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel, Web Designers and Entrepreneurs. Today we are going to show you how to integrate one of the most popular payment gateways, PayPal, with your Webflow website. By adding PayPal payments to your Webflow site, you can offer a secure and familiar payment option to your customer. In this video, we'll walk you through or we will walk you through this process or the steps of adding PayPal payments on Webflow in just a few simple steps. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. In my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, but of course, in your case, you can use any other browser it could be possibly working for you. Once you do that, of course, once you open your preferred browser, if you don't have already, or if you already, if you don't already have one uh, PayPal account, you'll have to sign up for PayPal business account. This account will allow you to accept payments from your customers and make sure you have your account verified and and configured to meet your business needs. As an example, let's just head to PayPal dot com and hit the enter button and here make sure to go let me just change the language as an example we'll just go to english and here as you, as you can see if you have an account make sure to go and log into it and if you don't make sure to go and create your account make sure to select business account option because as we said it's going to be business it's not a personal one so make sure to meet all the your business needs and requirements for me, I'm not going to do that now, but for you, once you do that, of course, you'll have to generate the PayPal API credential. Once you log in into your PayPal account, make sure to navigate. So for you, if you have your business accounts, you'll be able to navigate to developer dashboard or API settings. For me, as an example, this account is just for personal use, so I'll not have this option. But for you, go to your settings or developer dashboard or API settings and gener generate your API or PayPal API credential, which includes your client's ID and secret key. These credentials were established a secure connection between PayPal and Webflow. Once you do so, make sure to connect your PayPal with Webflow simply by going to Webflow browser, open a new tab, go to Webflow, dot com and hit the enter button if you have an account you'll have to log in into it and if you don't have an account you will have to go and click on get started and you will you will have to follow the prompt that's going to appear to you of course here you can simply go to your browser or not browser sorry websites and click on the three dots click on settings and make sure to go to custom code and paste everything the api settings or credential which you copied from paypal of course let's just close this now and as you can see for me, I cannot add this right now. I'll have to add the site plan if I need to add any custom code. So there is the website options and there's the e-commerce site. Both of them, I'll need to, ha I'll need to have the CMS items. So uh, if I need to add custom code, I'll have to get this plan on websites and e-commerce this plan. Of course, this plan comes with, uh, those plans comes with a lot of features. So you can go and check them on all by your own if you want to and even you can compare them all here if you want to uh, the websites and even the e-commerce sites so you can compare everything you want here once you get your plan you can simply click on custom code and add your api credential here and you'll be good to go so once you do that of course you'll be able to add a paypal uh, button to your website so choose the page where you want to add a paypal button of course it's going to be here let's just go back so let's just get back into the dashboard, open the designer, of course, and choose the page uh, where you want to add the PayPal button in your workflow designer or editor. Add the button element to your uh, desire. Of course, you can add everything from here. Of course, uh, a button element to your desired location. Customize the button tag, a text, a style, and appearance according to your preferences or to meet the preferences of your website. In the button settings, of course, you can select the PayPal option and configure the payment uh, settings including the currency and payment description of course that will appear to you if you add the custom code as we said then you can simply test and deploy the paypal integration so before going live it's crucial to test the paypal integration to ensure a smooth checkout experience you can use paypal sandbox environments to create a test product to simulate transactions and once you're satisfied with the testing publish your webflow site to make the paypal integration live of course, if you're still facing any issues, go and open a new tab and type university, sorry, university, 
dot webflow dot com and hit the enter button that will take you to this page and if you are already logged in into your webflow here you will find yourself already logged in as you can see into your account click on more click on integrations and here you can simply go and type paypal as an example and as you can see you'll find this paypal payment once you click on it you can simply view the lesson from here and even view the websites in the websites you have nothing to do with it unless you want to create your account so if you want to make sure to go and create your account and for us we don't want to do so right now but of course the lesson is going to be this so websites payments pro integration guide here you'll be able to see everything you know that you want even the steps of integration as you can see even api operation everything that you need everything you struggle maybe in this tutorial on you will find it here as you can see make sure that is important paypal isn't accepting new users for this feature so they require an existing user to upgrade to uh, our advanced debits and credit solution that supports emv 3 ds for psd2 our advanced debits and credit solution enable highly customizable custom cards fields and reduced pce i or PCI, sorry, uh, compliance requirements for more information. See the setup uh, credits and debit card payments. You can go and read this for more information, as we said. And as we said, once you follow all the instructions here, you'll normally be good to go. If you're, as I said, if you get confused while in this tutorial, you can find everything here on how to do so. And you will be good to go with integrating your PayPal payment with Webflow. As I said, you can preview your site now before you publish it. And of course, before even publish it, you will have to get your domain name. So make sure to go and get that. And then you'll be even be able to publish your website in your domain name without any problems. And as I said, go and test it with another browser. Just go to your website and test if the payment uh, with PayPal is working. And you can even use the PayPal sandbox environment, as, is, as we said, or create a test uh, product to simulate transaction, maybe $1 or something like that to test everything is good. So if you make it this far, congratulations, you've successfully added PayPal, PayPal payment to your Webflow website. With this integration, you can provide your customer with a trusted and widely recognized payment method. Remember to regularly monitor your payments uh, or sorry, your PayPal payment account for transactions and manage uh, the refunds and disputes through the PayPal interface. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like down below for more web designs and business tips. Thank you for watching and happy integrating PayPal with Webflow. Of course, if you have any other issues, you can leave them down below in the comments or you can even contact the support if you want of Webflow, if you don't want to wait. Thanks for watching again and I will see you in the next one.